Welcome back to our News 8 presentation of the Republican primary debate for U.S. Senate. I'm Chief Political Correspondent Jody Latina. And I'm Chief Political Anchor Dennis House. Let's get right back into the questions. And Mr. Lumage, this next question will begin with you. And we're going to shift to the issue of abortion tonight. With the overturning of Roe v. Wade by the U.S. Supreme Court, how would you, as a U.S. Senator, vote if a federal law codifying the right to an abortion was put on the floor of the Senate for a vote? Well, first of all, Roe v. Wade, which was decided in 1973, was decided on shaky grounds, and uh, the Supreme Court got it right this time. They didn't reverse that. What they did, they exercised the Tenth Amendment, which uh, is there for a reason, because the Founding Fathers wanted us to make sure that certain decisions should be made by the states instead of the federal government. So they exercised or implemented the Tenth Amendment and reestablished uh, republicanism once again. So I'm proud of it, and I would have, I agree with the decision of the Supreme Court now. So codifying, uh, uh, I would vote against it because the federal government shouldn't have anything to do with that. And I would vote against it. Uh, let the states decide on this. If Connecticut wants to have abortion, fine. But if another state decides not to have abortion through the election process, let the voters decide this instead of the Supreme Court. So they got it right and I would, uh, I would support. I would not vote to codify it, but I support um, the reversal for Roe v. Wade. Ms. Clarinus, you have 60 seconds. Thank you. I have always supported a woman's right to choose. Uh, throughout my career, I do not believe in late-term abortions unless the life or health of the mother is at risk. I support parental consent as long as there is a judicial option for minors who, who are afraid to talk to their parents about their pregnancy. I understand this is a difficult issue and I understand we don't all agree on, but what I can say to you is this. I have been consistent in my tr position to give a woman the right to choose and make that be a decision between she and her doctor. And you will always get that direct uh, opinion from me. Mrs. Levy, you have 60 seconds. As a mother of three wonderful sons, I experienced a very difficult time having children. My life was at risk three times in one of my pregnancies. And Thank you to God. Thanks to God, I had good medical care. They were able to save me and, and eventually deliver my babies healthily. So I am pro-life. I am committed to a life beginning at conception. I recognize the exceptions of the life of the mother, rape, and incest. But my opponent has helped to make Connecticut a sanctuary state for abortion. Our governor is now advertising Connecticut as a place companies should come because their employees are able to have abortions here instead of really addressing the problems of why businesses aren't coming to Connecticut. And something doesn't sit right with that appeal to me. Thank you. Mr. Lamar, this is your question. Would you like to respond? Uh, yeah, actually, I would like to respond to that. Uh, it's interesting because when it comes to famous, I respect one thing about her that she believes in certain Only one principles. Thing? many things. Uh, she believes in certain principles with which mm. I disagree. She's uh, pro-abortion, I'm pro-life. Uh, she's against the Second Amendment to a certain extent, I am pro-Second Amendment. What bothers me about Leora is this. In 2012, when she spoke at the National Republican Convention on behalf of Mitt Romney, she was pro-abortion. 2016, she wrote an article against Donald Trump. She's pro-Trump now. Then she donated to Blumenthal, now she wants to defeat Blumenthal. They, the voters for the primary, have a clear choice. Center left Thomas Claritas or a true unwavering conservative, which is Peter Lomage. I'll let you respond first, Ms. Claritas. Well, well thank you. I, I, first of all, I need to clarify the record. As, as, as I've seen oftentimes lately, um, you are not, Lior is not clear on her facts. I was not in, even in the legislature when there was a vote on making Connecticut a safe haven for uh, abortion from other states. So. I need to clarify that was this past legis legislative session and I was not in the legislature then. Mrs. Levy? Yes, I need to rebut a couple of things. Go right ahead. First of all, boy, it feels like there may be three candidates but only two campaigns. It's really interesting, Peter. Uh, I am the only pro-life candidate. Everybody grows and, and learns in life and my life experience changed my heart. I am endorsed by the Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America PAC. I am pro-life. Um, I never donated to Blumenthal. That is a lie. Mm, no. That is a complete lie. I mean, maybe you're talking about my husband and 
oh, a quarter century ago Mrs. gave $100, but I'm looking forward to the next quarter century. Mrs. Lee, right and that of time. was my husband. Right of time. The next question is on a related topic. Jody? This goes to Ms. Claritas. In the wake of Roe, many are wondering about the precedent that it might set for future cases, including access to birth control. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas condemned Griswold versus Connecticut, which protects the right for married couples to buy and use contraceptives without government restrictions. Justice Thomas wants the high court to review this case. Where do you stand on the issue of access to birth control? Well, as I've mentioned earlier, I believe in a woman's right to choose, and I believe in uh, people's right to access birth control. I mean, you can't say on the one hand that you don't support abortion, and then on the other hand say people should not have birth control. I mean, so what is the answer? We should just, everybody should continue to continue having babies upon babies? I mean, we have the right as adults to buy cigarettes, to buy alcohol, to buy, you know, any one of a number of things. I think it would be preposterous to say you do not have the right to purchase birth control as a consenting adult. Mrs. Levy. Yes. As a woman, uh, I, uh, I am in favor of anybody who wants to use birth control to be able to buy it and to use it. That's a private decision. And the Dobbs case, I, I believe it was written in the case that it has nothing to do with birth control. So that really is a moot issue. But regarding my opponent who speaks at Planned Parenthood rallies supporting abortion and who has a 100% rating from NARAL, while I attend the March for Life and I have been endorsed by Susan B. Anthony, Pro-Life, America PAC, there's a big difference. The voters have a, diff a choice. There is a contrast here. And I'm running in a Republican primary, not a Democrat primary. And her views on abortion are more suited to running in a Democrat party, are more like Senator Blumenthal's, who has proposed a bill that would allow abortion all the way to the day of birth than they are in a Republican primary. Thank you for your answer. We're going to give you a rebuttal. I just want Peter to answer first. Mr. Lumaj. Uh, I think that uh, Chief Justice uh, Roberts actually made it clear that uh, the reversal of Roe v. Wade is not going to uh, disturb other previous decisions rendered by the United States Supreme Court. So I firmly believe that they will follow on that. But always remember that if you go back to the 1800s, the Supreme Court reversed itself a number of times. And, and this time they got it right. But uh, I still believe that Chief Justice got it right, Roberts, when he said it's not going to disturb and all the other previous decisions regarding these matters will remain intact, and I firmly believe that. Ms. Claritas, would you like to rebut what your opponent said? She said that you speak at Planned Parenthood rallies. Again, I am pro-choice, and I support a woman's right to choose. Um, I have been public about that. Again, I have been consistent with my, with my opinion on that, as opposed to my opponent who has not been consistent on her opinion in regards to that. And I certainly, as I said, stated earlier, do not agree with abortion uh, for a full nine months. Pro um, late-term abortion, I only support the life and health of the mother at risk. But I will say this. You want to talk about Dick Blumenthal? We all agree that Dick Blumenthal needs to go. And we all also understand that I'm the best candidate to do that. I have the best chance to do that. I've won 11 elections. Uh, when my opponents have won no other elections, and I have the best record for to win Thank an you. election in Connecticut, and that's the goal here. Mrs. Levy will be the first to answer this next question. Since Connecticut is historically a blue state where the majority of voters is unaffiliated, how will you work to win the moderate vote? Why should the unaffiliated voters watching right now support you? They should support me because